Okay, students. Now I am starting remainder theorem. See, what do you mean by remainder theorem? Let p x be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to one, and let a be any real number. If p x is divided by the linear polynomial x minus a, then remainder is p. A. This is all about remainder theorem. L. Let p x be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to one, and let a be any real number. If p x is divided by the linear polynomial x minus a, then the remainder is p a. Okay. This means what do you uh, means what is given in your the divisor? Okay. जैसे कि यहाँ पे divisor x plus one दिया हुआ है, so यहाँ पे x का value क्या निकलेगा? x equals to minus one. So if you write x minus x के जगह अगर यहाँ आप minus one निकाल लोगे, तो you can get the remainder easily without doing the actual long division method. Let's see an example. Then you can understand well. Okay? Example ये बुझे दीजिए ताले यारों भालो को एक clear हो जाए वह पता। देखो, इखाने x plus one divisor दे वहाँ से and x cube plus one is your dividend. Okay, now see, we all know that dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. इधर क्या क्या बोला है? P x is equals to G x into Q x plus R x. Okay, you all know this. Now, now first you divide. See, x plus one divided by x cube plus one. See, x square into x, x cube minus plus a cancel out. Then plus x square will be minus minus x square plus one. And here pe kya hoga? Here pe x se se minus x se na hoga minus x square plus minus minus plus minus se kach jaye cancel out minus x plus x plus one plus one x plus one minus minus cancel out uh, remainder would be zero. Okay, so you can see that here. The remainder will be zero. It is the actual long division. But if you know this remainder theorem, it need not to find the remainder with this actual long division. Okay, you need not to waste your time with doing this long type of division. Okay, you can find it easily in one second. Now see, how can you find? First, you have to see the divisor. Here, so here divisor is given x plus one, x plus one. Okay. This is your divisor is given. Now see from here we can say that x is equals to minus one. Now put the value in the dividend. What is your dividend given? X is q plus one. Put minus one to plus one. It is equal to zero. Now see this is what is saying about the remainder theorem. You need not to do about this long division method. You can easily find this in one second with one or two steps. Okay, this is all about remainder theorem.